Well, tis the season. Uh, we like to think of miracles. We do. And boy, this next story that uh, Jim Hill is going to share with us, I would call that a miracle. And maybe more than a miracle, because sometimes we complain about a lot of things. Sure. We never know how lucky we are until a story like this. A rare birth defect meant that Zion Clark was born without legs. He bounced around the foster care system throughout his youth, but he never, ever, ever stopped fighting. Zion took up wrestling and excelled attending Kent State in Ohio. Now, now he's embarking upon an MMA career with his very first professional fight uh, later this month. Here's our Chris Harry now with more. It's called caudal regression syndrome. You know, it's a very rare disease, but uh, in my case, it was caused due to malnutrition and uh, drugs and you know neglect in the womb. So in my case, it didn't have me. Not, I can, I didn't have any legs. You were in the foster care system for 17 yeah. years, so the combination of having this birth defect and really not having a home, um, how did that shape you growing up? Made for a rough life, you know, but at, at the end of it, you know, I learned how to be tougher. I learned how to just survive, you know. Survival, like when it really comes down to well, are you gonna eat today or not, you learn how to make it happen. So let's get to December 17th, Eugene Murray, your first professional fight. How does the foundation of wrestling and everything that you've learned over these last five years, how has that prepared you for this month? Fighting isn't just like being a full on brawler, you gotta, you gotta be intelligent in it. You could be the strongest man in the world, have a low fight IQ and get knocked out. Yeah. Being a wrestler, that IQ goes up considerably. Zion comes into your gym. And what do you say? Let's get to work. We got a lot of work to do. I was intrigued by the fact that he told me he wrestled, and I'm like, he wrestled? And so I did, I looked it up, and I was like, oh, wait a minute, hold on. Oh, okay, I like this, this is good. What did you think in terms of, okay, this is how we get to X, Y, and Z? I looked at his whole life, and it's always been what he can't do. People tell him what he can't do. So I already knew his internal level of confidence was higher than the average person, because he's always been told what he can't do. And so he's used that as a strength to do. I realize I'm dealing with something that's got a lot of power and believe in itself. All I have to do is direct it and coach it. With all my years, 30 years of experience wrestling, grappling, MMA, I had to now be a coach with no legs. You have the strength, you have the mental toughness, you have the confidence. I saw you call out Dana White, like, let's go. Like, this is a real thing. I know I did, and it was, on, it was on national television. I told him, I said, look, go watch me knock this dude out, and if it takes me winning 10 more fights after that, I'm gonna shut everybody up, and you're gonna give me that contract, and I'm saying it again, again. Feel lucky? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's, yeah. it's absolutely incredible, and now we have all been kind of empowered by what we just saw, yeah. because, because in a would, lot of ways, he's helping us to keep the faith. You would never expect to see Inspiring. someone mm -hmm. like that do what he does. Yeah. Keep right. doing it. Yeah. Thank you. That's right, Jim.